First we'll look at the recovery assist function showing the landing of the Seahawk helicopter. This will be followed by the securing function whereby the aircraft is correctly aligned with the track in the flight deck. Next we'll see the traverse function, the passage of the aircraft into and out of the hangar. And finally, the helicopter launch function. Recovery Assist, RA as it's known, is a function whereby the helicopter is guided down to a precise location on the deck so that the main probe in the aircraft can be locked into the RSD, the rapid securing device, on the deck. The procedure starts well before the helicopter approaches the ship. With the opening in the RSD located centrally over the bell mouth, the flight deck crew extract the RA cable. This can be a hazardous operation in a heavy sea state, and so the crew member extracting the cable must be physically assisted by another crew member. As the helicopter approaches the ship, the pilot lowers a wire messenger down through the main probe in the base of the aircraft. The messenger is earthed by the flight deck crew. Next, they attach it to the end of the RA cable. The cable is reeled into the helicopter and secured within the main probe. The LSO now takes up the slack in the cable until it becomes taut. With a low tension on the cable, the pilot is free to maneuver the helicopter over the RSD. When he's satisfied that the ship and helicopter motion are relatively stable, he signals the LSO to apply increased tension to the cable. The pilot flies the helicopter down to the deck and the RA cable guides the main probe into the RSD. The port and starboard arresting beams clamp the main probe to the RSD which is securely attached within the track. The servo system that performs this function is simple yet ingenious. It consists of a winch hydraulic power unit, WHPU, powering the RA pump that supplies hydraulics to the RA motor. 